before adding the dome, we need to just heighten the, the base a little bit by adding some wall sections on the side. That will raise the dome up enough to clear the top of the, the telescope assembly when it's in place. The walls consist of these um, quarter wall sections that you can 3D print. Um, I'm going to build two layers of the, the wall sections and I've printed four of these pieces in black and four of them in white. They're very straightforward to assemble. You basically use the 38 millimeter pegs, insert them in the little holes, and then combine like that just to hold them loosely together. This is easiest done by just assembling two pieces on each side to make half a circle, and then simply push them together with the pegs going into the locating holes. This will be quite loose. We're gonna build another wall section to go uh, with this one in the, out of the black pieces and then combine them together which will make the whole thing a bit more rigid. So the same happens then for the black pieces again the same wall pieces. Join them into two semicircles and then just combine the two circles together. And again that'll be a little bit loose until we've fastened it more securely together. To place the walls then on the base platform of the telescope, I use these longer pegs, which have a small series of fins on one end just to help them grip, and simply use this line of holes around the outside of the platform and place one of these tall pegs with the, the little fin piece just sitting down into every second hole as you go around. So there's quite a few of these that you're going to insert, and they'll give the basis for the walls and the dome to attach to. Once you've got all these, all these pegs placed around the base, then simply what you do, again, useful if somebody can give you a hand, but you're then gonna slide one of these completed wall sections down over these pegs to hold them in place. And they should align pretty well with the holes. You may need to just help it a little bit to slide them on. And I'm going to go that way, just so I'm not having any gaps. And then just align the pegs underneath each of the holes until you can get this to slide down comfortably onto the platform. To make it a little more clear, I've taken that back off the base so you can see how the, the pegs go through each of the wall segments. And then eventually they will come together Make sure they don't fall out and just create a ring of wall pieces. And then you can slide the second ring of wall pieces on top of that, slightly offset the joints because that will make it stronger when the whole thing goes together. And again, they will just slide down and over the pegs. But again, you may need a bit of help unless I'm very lucky. My luck seems to be holding out. Okay, so there we go. So that's created a much stronger wall that will fit onto the base of the telescope. That then has the wall in place, so it's just raised the profile of the platform, and then we can assemble the dome to go on top of that. The dome consists of a whole series of pieces, but we start with eight of these dome sections which we're going to put into most of the dome. And then we're going to have a, a few extra pieces which will let us do the doorway that the telescope itself can peer through. This is about the only part of the telescope where I actually suggest that you use some adhesive to hold these pieces together. Um, I have before now even just taped them together while I've been doing work on it. But long term, it's easier if some of these pieces are actually glued. Uh, you can just place some adhesive down the seams between these pieces as they come together. To help locate them, again, there's, there's pegs involved, so a couple of the 38 millimeter pegs down below, and then in here, one of the little 18 millimeter pegs in there, and then the pieces can be combined like that. Three sections here create a quarter of the dome. Repeat that for the next piece. And then 
and just continue adding them together like that. A little bit of excess material there I'll just pull off. And again, slide that into there and continue round until you've used all eight pieces. Those are the eight regular pieces and then the next piece to put together are these slightly different shaped pieces which will form the doorway when they're assembled and placed on the, the dome. Again, using the same idea with the pegs just to combine them. You see that these pieces should line up quite nicely. So you'll end up with almost a sort of R2-D2 type head at this point. So those are all the pieces together. As you can see, this is quite loose, which is why it's a good idea to actually use some adhesive on these. In order to make sure that this stays in a proper circle, it's best to just temporarily mount it on the base of the telescope, uh, just while the adhesive dries down these seams, and it will keep the whole thing in uh, the proper circular shape. That's the dome walls then placed on top of the the little side walls that we've placed in just before. You can then add the, the lid to it, which is these two top pieces. Again, a couple of pegs, probably worth putting some adhesive in there as well. And there are some little locating pins in the base of here, which will then just sit quite nicely in the top of the dome. I suggest that you don't glue this because actually it makes it easier to be able to lift that off further down the road if you want to get back inside the telescope and don't glue the dome to the base of the telescope again because it will make it difficult to get access but you can place adhesive down the sides of these walls just to hold everything together a bit better.